Hello, my lovelies. So today we are going to do a braid inspired by Shannon. Uh, this is called Sivu Plate. Uh, uh, um, any hoodles, uh, where I came up with this particular braid was I bought this book by our friend Ms. Shannon Burns, uh, also known as Sivu Plates, here on YouTube. Um, it is called Badass Braids. It is excellent. Uh, I've done a few of the hairstyles. Uh, she breaks everything down nice and easy. It's cool. Um, so I was inspired. I wanted to do one. I mean, I granted, you know, I could do a tutorial on one of these, but you guys know how I feel about that stuff because it feels like piracy. Uh, it feels like I'm stealing. Um, mm, so I wanted to do something that was inspired by the beautiful braids in this book, but was mine because uh, that's just the way I am. Uh, so what I decided to do was uh, take this inspiration but break it down into something super easy that everybody can do. Um, all you need to know how to do is a simple English braid. Um, it would also help if you can four strand braid, but I'm going to show you how to do that, but you don't have to. You can do the braid I'm about to do with only three braids if you don't want to go the route of doing the fourth. Totally. It still looks super cool, but that was just a little extra uh, because, you know, Shannon's braids are awesome and I want this to be awesome. So let's do the CV plate. I am already uh, steps ahead just to save us time. So we're going to start with a fairly high pony, not a super high, but pretty high. Um, is this the most comfortable hairstyle ever? No, but this is one of those hairstyles where you will sacrifice the comfort uh, of your scalp because this thing looks awesome. So high pony separated into four or three if you don't feel that uh, you can do a four strand, although it's really easy, especially when they are already braided. Really give it a try, go for four. You can do it, I promise. Um, so we're gonna separate into four sections and do four English braids. Four braids. Um, I also really hairsprayed my hair so it would stay this nice slick because we're going for like the warrior deal. Um, so we want four of these. Now, you're gonna need an extra ponytail holder. Um, one of the little ones uh, that we like never use around here anymore. But you know, I have them all here. I keep them handy. Um, and what we're using this for is an anchor for the cool stuff. So uh, I bought these chains. I should have a picture. I got them at Joann's uh, because of the length of my hair. I had to make sure I got the 100 inch chains. So I got these chains. I got four because we have four braids. So if you're only doing three braids, you only need three. Um, you can get them all the same color um, or you can mix up your colors. I'd have loved to have done these all in gold, but since my hair is kind of goldy blondish, whatever, I didn't think they would show up as well. So I went with silver and black. I would have done all silver, except they only had three silver chains in a hundred inch. So I decided to alternate silver, black, silver, black. Hmm. Any hoodles. Uh, so what I did was I decorated the ends of these chains. Um, each of these chains is different. Uh, some are like the actual chains themselves. The links are different. So what I did was I just decorated the ends. Um, I left them intact, like the whole hundred inches, but uh, so I have those. My other black chain is uh, smaller and the ends of it look like this. These will be fun. Hopefully I didn't tangle these too terribly. Ooh, there we go. Those. And then I did my smaller silver chain. I did stacked skulls. I love skullies. Um, and then my larger silver chain. I did uh, roses and wire balls. Um, you can put, you don't have to even put anything on the ends, but this is neat and we know I'm tacky. So that's what it did. Um, any hoodles, we're doing four chains because we have four braids. So the first thing you want to do is take your littler your smaller, littler, your smaller, 
um, ponytail holder and we're just going to pull our braids through and pull this up. Um, I am using a burly bands because they're the most comfortable since we were doing a high pony. Now, I'm not going around twice. This is simply once. Um, it's just to hold it in place, these chains in place, as we braid them in. So, uh, first things first, let's go with the silver one because I think it will show up the best while I show you how to do this. So you're gonna take one end, we're gonna run it through the little ponytail holder that we just put up there and you want to half it. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, these are so long, Torn. These are so long, these chains, 100 inches. Do you really need that? For you to determine what, how long you would like them to be, I suggest you do one with your full chain, right? And then you trim it to the length that you want it to be after it's braided because after, as we braid it's going to shrink the chain up like my hair is past classic now but if you, you could see the ends of my braids they're a tailbone currently because of the ponytail and the braids so you might want to do that first determine where you want the ends of your chain to be and then trim accordingly and then just trim all your chains that way any hoodles um, I know I need this much and I want really long dangle if I can get it. So I'm going for the full hundred. Any hoodles. Okay, so this is going to be our very first braid. So I'm going to take the outside as soon as I figure out which one is the outside braid. Uh, I think this one really is. So I'll put these over here. So I've got my chain. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another English braid. This is a strand. This is a strand, and this braid itself is a strand. So I'm going to actually do it underneath. So we are going to braid. Yes, indeedly. Okay, I've got it started, so I can keep the ends from tangling. Um, you can do it tight. You can do it loose. You do it however you think it's going to look the best. Um, but we, yeah, I'm doing it this way because, I don't know, I think it makes it easier and then as it goes around your braid, it looks really cool. I think it looks cool. What else? But anyway, English is all we're doing. It's just another English braid. So, I'm going to do this to all of these braids. I'm going to anchor the chain up here around this little thing. Um, it doesn't need to be super duper tight like I said because we're just anchoring it they'll stay because they're going to be braided into our hair so you know like don't pull too tight at the beginning you'll be fine um so I'm going to do all these I'm going to alternate silver black silver black that'll be back at the end we'll get a good look see. back in a second all right now's the time when we do four together you can do it I promise uh the most difficult thing is going to keep your beadly bombs at the end from getting all tangled and braiding together. So we're gonna go slow. It's no big deal. I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's much easier to four strand braid when the four strands you're working with are braids. Huh. All right, so your four strands, we're gonna go uh, right outside and then left outside, right? All right, so a right side goes behind in front. Yeah, okay. Our left goes in front, behind. So from, from the right hand side, you are always, always gonna go behind, in front. And from the left side, you're always going to go in front, behind. It's always the same, always. Ha ha, there we go. Now let's braid. And I am just gonna keep an eye on the ends of mine to make sure that we're not, you know, running together. I'm also looking in the mirror just to make sure that I am keeping mine all nice and tight without any holes, uh, because that is the one thing when braiding braids, sometimes you'll end up with like a gap, say like that, and I don't want any gaps if I can help it. So that's why it is good to just sort of lean over and then you can do this in a mirror if you want. Now, normally I always tell you, you know, don't braid in a mirror. 
uh, but this one it's okay you can do it because we are already um, braided you know we're braiding braids so it's all right um, also it will help you with keeping your ends from getting your bead leaves on the ends from getting tangled together because you definitely don't want that if you have ever ever had uh, necklaces in a jewelry box get tangled it ain't pleasant y'all <laughs> So uh, we're almost at the end. For the end of this, um, you can do uh, clear hair ties, uh, which is how I, you know, did all the, the chains. I just did clear hair ties. Um, but this is going to be pretty thick, so I will not be doing a clear hair tie. Um, I will be doing a black one. Do, 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 maybe if I have another one. Yeah, there we go. As I throw stuff on the ground. So I'm just going to use a big hair tie. And then just sort of try and keep them. I'm going to gently pull that through like so. And go around what will be like three times. Um, do, 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 do. All right. And that, whoop, as soon as I get those through. Oh, three times will that be? That is a big, I had to pick like the biggest hair tie I have. Yeah, that'll, that should do. I wish I had a little black one, I have to say. Um, there we go. You see how it looks? I think it looks very groovy. Um, it's very cool. Look at it. <gasps> yeah, I don't know. I think it looks really neat. Um, and the dangly bobs. Uh, we're gonna flop around so you can see the end. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move the camera in a minute. Um, first, put on my earrings. Then, we'll put something around the top here. Um, I wish it was silver uh, to just kind of go with our theme, but we don't have a silver one. I have a gold one. Uh, do you remember back when we did all the nightfall stuff? Yeah? Yeah. So, I'm just going to take this, go around. Hopefully, will it will fit. It should fit around like so. Yeah? How's that look? Let's see how it looks before I commit. Before I commit. Does it look okay? Oh, I think it looks alright. Maybe. I actually have one. Two. So maybe we can actually get by with a little bit of gold. There's nothing that says you can't mix metals, right? Who says you can't? Not I. I don't. I don't say that. Let's see how it looks. Yes, 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 yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Pretty nifty. Um, all right. Let's move you back. Maybe you can actually see the ends, right? All right, hopefully you can see the ends. It's neat. I think it's neat. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see the ends and that you think this is pretty groovy looking? Um, I think it is. Is it heavy? Oh yeah, it's heavy. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that this is a super comfy hairstyle. This is not a super comfy hairstyle. This is a dramatic hairstyle, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, something to go along with, what if I'm like, something to go along with like sci-fi cosplay warrior stuff. Um, I used chain. You can use ribbons. Like if you don't want this heaviness um, or you want to be like super colorful, use ribbons. You can use a rainbow of ribbons. You can use like all of the same shade, like four shades of red or one like red, a lighter pink, a lighter pink to white or in blues or greens. Like you can do something like that. Um, you know, use one color, but 
four shades of a color. Um, you can just do like rainbow colors if you want. Um, it's up to you. You guys, you guys do you. Um, you can use, if you want it to look like chain, but don't want the heaviness of chain, by all means, just use like silver cording or gold cording. Um, and then you get the metallic look without necessarily the heaviness of the metallic feel. Why did I use actual chain? Because it's badass. And I was inspired. <laughs> so this is the Sifu plate. Um, it is a badass braid, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's cool. I hope you think it's cool. Uh, it just it came to me in a dream one night. Uh, I was going to call it the weaponized braid because if you sling this sucker around with all the beadleys on the ends, you're going to take an eye out. Oh, also be careful that you don't swing this around because you're going to take an eye out. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for me today. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Uh, if any of you try this, you know, the drill. Tag me so I can see your beautiful hair. Alrighty, um, I'm getting ready to film yesterday's vid, actually. Uh, we're gonna go outside and sparkle in the sunlight. Um, so I will see you guys soon. I'll probably see you on Monday. Um, have a great day, guys. I love you. Be good at it. Bye.